All right, hello, YouTube community. Um, first, I'm gonna try not to say um very often. Second, this is me just jumping into posting videos on YouTube. Um, yeah, see, there's another um. Posting videos on YouTube because I have this really cool thing that I want things to be perfect before I post them. And I know that it's actually always better when I just be in the flow and not worry about things being perfect. Like right now, I'm sitting in my office, I've got a pile of crystals next to me that my son and his friend were getting out and organizing the other day. And then I color coded them yesterday while I was trying to procrastinate. And so yeah, so those are sitting next to me here. I have a project that I'm working on laid out over there. And yeah, so this is, I was like, okay, I'm not going to worry about the office being super clean and perfect. And I just have to get this out there and start posting. So I haven't even said my name yet. So my name is Rachel McLaughlin and I created this YouTube channel. I don't even know when the created date was, but it was at least a year and a half ago. And so... And I haven't posted shit in since then. But I was like, well, at least I have the um, YouTube channel being held for me. I'm also going to do my best to not move my legs a lot while I'm talking because that shakes my whole body. But when I'm in front of people or anything, I get these like little nervous twitches. So moving my legs, um, talking with my hands is for sure a nervous twitch. I'm also holding on to... Um, I understand now why they have those like fidget cubes and things for kids, like when they're paying attention in class, cause it gives them something to do with their hands. And, uh, yeah. So I'm also holding, this will come into play later, but I'm holding this so that I can just kind of like bend it and <laughs> play with it while I do this video. So as I said, my name is Rachel McLaughlin and I am... And intuitive that's the easiest way I've found to say um, who I am and why I'm creating this YouTube channel in the first place so being an intuitive um, that comes with a lot of things um, the Claire's all the like Claire sentience Claire audience um, clairvoyant like all of those we'll dive into videos about those um, later down the journey of this channel, um, being an empath, uh, particularly an empath who um, is a sponge and truly imagine a dry sponge and then it just gets filled with wet water. And that is how I experience the world and I always don't know, I don't always know whose emotions I'm feeling or why I'm feeling it or why I'm feeling the ways that I am feeling. But one of my biggest works in this uh, lifetime is me learning how to discern what emotions are mine and what are someone else's. I may have a kid pop into the room here in a second. I could hear them walking around upstairs. And with that, I have two kids. My daughter, May, currently 13. My son, Owen, is currently 10. He'll be turning 11 soon. And it is my greatest joy to be their mother. And I know one of the biggest things for me starting this channel is also for them. So teaching them that they can share their gifts and who they are. Um, I've swallowed back tears like four times already since I've started talking on this video. Uh, that's part of the whole empath thing. I also emotions are just uh, my soul set this whole super cool thing up. Um, yeah, to where emotions are a huge part of my human existence as they are everyone's human existence. Um, but yeah, mine, look at the tears, see? Like, I just wanna, <laughs> I'm gonna laugh and cry a lot on this podcast, or podcast, 
that will be something that follows um, me at least starting this. So there will be tears, humanness, um, soulful things, uh, talking about my emotions. Um, I'll be using this YouTube channel to, uh, yeah, it's part going to be like a raw video journal, like a, this is example A right here. Um, I want to use it to interview other just like badass humans out in the world on any number of subjects. I can't put any, I can't put it into a box, but there will be a lot of cool interviews coming through. Um, some people will be repeat guests or repeat friends um, who are on the call. Uh, yeah. I'm also a yoga teacher, a very, I intuitively guide yoga and there's multiple ways that I bring that in through, um, yoga. One of which I teach at a studio in the town that I live in. I live in Spokane, Washington. So I teach, um, at a studio here two times a week and every single flow that I teach there is, it's intuitive. I rarely plan it. I may get um, intuitive hits like on my way to class and I'll be like, oh, okay, so we're going to bring in this posture today, et cetera, et cetera. Um, or it'll come in dreams. Oftentimes um, the night before I'll have a dream and in the dream, like either I'll be doing a yoga pose or I'll be teaching yoga and like certain poses will stand out. So I'll just make sure that I um, bring those into class that day. And I just always trust that whatever comes through to the yoga class is exactly what the individuals in that class are needing on that day. And for what their body needs, for what their soul needs, for what their emotions need. I mean, the list goes vroom, so long. Yeah. Um, and then I also do with yoga, um, I have some really personalized, um, really incredible, um, yoga flows for individuals um, to use on their human journey and on their healing process. And once again, those, I have no idea ever what's going to come through, close my eyes, I move through the flow, I record it and send it to them. And that is only guided by my voice. So if you like my voice and you want to try that out, give it a shot. Um, yeah, and another huge part of this YouTube channel will be this. So I am in the process of creating an Oracle deck. And honestly, every single one of these is blank. The Oracle deck is actually laying out on the ground back over there. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go through the deck is 55 cards. And so on this channel, there will be a section where it is just individual videos for each card, um, videos, like different spreads, different combination of cards, different ways you can use the cards, um, different information that comes through with the cards, possibly maybe even live readings for people. Um, yeah. So there's just a lot that can come through. Um, with this oracle deck that is in creation um three by five cards have become my new best friend so I'm just putting all the information on the three by five cards and using my artistic abilities the ones that i have and also tapping into my daughter's artistic abilities too as i create this deck so it's very fascinating and really this deck is an accumulation of um, experiences and information that I've received in this lifetime. And in this lifetime, I am married to Sean McLaughlin. We actually met just super short. We met, uh, running track in college together. So he's a distance runner as a sprinter jumper, hence all my like tapping, moving energy. And yeah, we started dating in the year 2000. So it's 2021. So we've been together 21 years. We got married in 2015 and we've lived in Spokane that whole time. So we love Spokane so much. Um, and it's, yeah, it's definitely where our roots are. And then we also love to travel a ton. So these are all things that 
will come through um, on this channel. And if you've stayed with me this long, awesome. Yeah, so. <laughs> okay, one more little thing here. Actually, two more things. One, a quote. I've been watching this um, little show uh, on Apple like TV. You know, there's so many platforms now to watch shows on. So this one's particularly on Apple TV. And it's called Dickinson. And it just is like this fun take on the poet Emily Dickinson's life. And the latest episode I just watched, the poem she kept, the line she kept referencing was forever is composed of nows. And I really love that because, I mean, even just starting this YouTube channel, I, it's now, like start it now, right? And, you know, I'm always like, oh, I have forever to do that. And it's like, oh, wait. So when she said that, I was like, that's really cool that she talks about forever being composed of nows. And yeah, and just starting. So that also brings me to tarot. So I was listening to, obviously with the Oracle deck, I'm obviously also connected with tarot decks. I was listening to a podcast yesterday and the guy was specifically speaking about how he wanted to start this podcast a year ago when like the whole world shut down and he made up all these excuses of why not to do it. And then all of a sudden he was like, no, it's time. And he tells the story of why it was time. And he specifically is starting, he's doing the 78 cards of the tarot. And so we started with a fool. And so I went through both my tarot decks and I pulled out the fool card and I set them up on my altar so that I could look at it and just the fool card, one of it, the things it represents is beginnings. So I was like, all right, here we go. We're beginning with this YouTube channel and I'm almost at the 15 minute mark. So I'm going to try to keep it there. Um, ways, things that I'll be bringing also into these videos, especially in the raw video journal part will be me just talking about human design, talking about Enneagram a little bit, talking about astrology a little bit. Um, all of those are systems of understanding and systems that help us understand ourselves, but then also help us understand others around us because humans, we're all unique. We're all different. We all see the world different. We all experience the world different. And each scenario, each person in that scenario is experiencing that scenario different. And so that's one of the things that I love about all of these different systems of understanding is that they help us A, be more relatable to other people and then B, other people be more relatable to us. Um, so yeah, so in human design, I am a manifester. I'm a four, six manifester. Um, and emotional, um, with emotional authority. So essentially, I will explain all of those later. But if you know, then you know what I just said. <laughs> and then in the Enneagram, I am a four. Essentially, Enneagrams are emotions in a body. So that's super fun. And <laughs> hence all the tears earlier. Um, and then with astrology, I am Gemini sun and then Aries moon and Aries rising. And then my, um, my mid haven is Capricorn. So if you're into astrology, that gives you a little insight on my astrological chart. Yeah. And I think we're at the 15 minute point. So thank you for starting this journey with me. Let's see where it goes.